So, are you a zombie vampire? What's going on? <laughs> Am I a zombie <laughs> vampire? Yes, and a werewolf. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, no, I, so we leave off season one. I am a vampire. I've been turned into a vampire. And I, what I could say about season two is that uh, uh, Axel's got such a kind of miserable, stubborn determination to fight against it with everything he's got. So um, he's still he's still on program as far as he's concerned in terms of what he needs to do about finding Vanessa um, and fighting the vampirism with everything he's got and tr determined not to succumb. But at the same time, if he doesn't feed, he'll die. So he's got that going for him. It's kind of a problem. It's a bit of an issue. A little bit. Yeah, that may, totally makes sense. So you feel with that character, is you know, his mission is just that strong. He mm. can. So can he overcome the vampire instincts? I mean, yes, he has to feed, but uh, he does his he does his best. All right. Well, because now he's essentially super powered, so that could be a benefit to Vanessa, right? That would be awesome. Although we do start to realize that. The, Vampire superpowers come more from feeding, yeah. and the less you feed, the less superpowery you are. Got to eat some bad guys. Then. I know you got to eat some. Exactly, you got to right. find more bad guys and eat exactly. them. Yeah, that would have been that would have been a good idea. How uh, does it take long for him to catch up to the group? Hmm. <laughs> Define long. Let's see. Episode. Um, We're gonna have to wait to the it end, or it takes a while. Okay. It takes a while. That's fine. It takes a while. Don't have to wait till the end. Got it. That's okay. Um, and yeah, much hijinks ensues there. I mean, they, I think they did such a good job this year in terms of, you know, once they burst the group apart and they sent everybody off in their own trajectories, it just gave them the opportunity to sort of build out the world exponentially. So, you know, we're going to learn all kinds of things about the vampire mythology and about what they're up to and what they're after. Um, we get to reveal all kinds of things about various characters' backstories, including mine. You get to mm -hmm. get a sense of what the hell it is mm -hmm. that makes them so crazy determined. Um, like more than the average bear and um, and you know there's some darkness in his past that's driving that for sure which is kind of a cool thing to discover um, and then the vampires you know when, when we find out what it is that they're after what gets set up in season two um, can't talk about what it is but the w knowing that there is this thing that, that, that will change this, the game completely that they're after and as, as our heroes start to put that together and realize what it is it becomes a race to this end game okay. um, and uh, yeah, it's a really exciting finale. And then I got to direct. Oh, congratulations. That's Thank exciting. You. How was it to direct the finale? It was an unbelievable gift. So they, they'd given me the opportunity earlier on in the season. Mm, okay. um, and I'd gotten to direct an episode that was mm -hmm. totally anchored by Christopher Hyde also. Mm. I was given, like, the greatest gift you could get. Um, and that all went swimmingly well. And, and uh, we had a great time doing it. So they were, they were good enough to offer me the finale. Well, switching things up a little bit, how is it gonna? How was the process going from like awesome soldier man to now vampire? Starving angry, yes. angry vampire. <laughs> um, it was interesting, you know. It's a totally different trip. Like, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, as the character was evolving through season one, it started to fall into a, you know that sort of hand solo zone of guys, like, you know, the reluctant anti-hero kind of guy. Right. Love it. Um, and there's some humor and there's all that kind of stuff going on and you know the vampires aren't they're, they're, they're very funny you know they don't crack a lot of jokes and but then it'd be the straight humor yeah it'd be very deadpan <laughs> ah, ah. um but um no it was good you know it's, it's, it's a, it was a lot of angst and struggle and all that kind of stuff but it was it was fun to play yeah yeah. And your character goes through so many action sequences and like so much physicality. What was that experience for you like? I'm still kind of recovering. <laughs> um, Getting your massages in and physical therapy. <laughs> trying to. My wife's been really nice about that. Um, you know, you, 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 action stuff takes a toll on you. You get beat up a bit, but uh, you, honestly, you got to give a huge shout out to the whole the <laughs> stunt coordinator, Kamani Ray Smith, on this show mm -hmm. is amazing at what he does and he does not only a great job at, at constructing these great big fight scenes and getting them all mm -hmm. manageable within the kind of time frame that we have to shoot them but also keeping everybody safe and uh you know i was saying to these guys over here like anybody other than tom cruise that says they did all their own stunts is lying jackie chan mm -hmm. well him too <laughs> he's not lying <laughs> but uh, you know honestly yeah. they, we we got our butts covered sure. by these guys and these yeah. amazing group of stunt performers and uh they deserve a ton of credit what has been your favorite action sequence to do for the, at least the first season? Because you can tell us about it and maybe hint at season two. Uh, first season, I've, the big action sequence. I, I think it was the, the 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 whole sort of fight to the death there mm -hmm. at the end for Axel. That was that was a big one. That was a lot a lot of walls to crash into on that one. Um, and then in season two, the 
by far my favorite was uh, one that I'm not in. It's the one I get to direct. Um, the epic sort of battle there at the in the in the finale between all the mysterious characters that are involved. Um, that was amazing. That was hugely challenging and, and really fun to do. So do you think you're going to keep doing directing, or are you going to go between the two? I sure hope so. I, I it's my new favorite job, totally. So um, I really look forward to more opportunities there. And any uh, fun stories you can share from season two that doesn't spoil, but you know, something interesting? Something interesting from season two. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about Alex and Missy behind the scenes hijinks. The idea that this like total badass character who comes in, you know, with all her weapons and her training and she knows how to do everything. And then Alex, who's this giant of a man and is playing this terrifying character. And every time we yell cut, it's the two of them over like behind the camera, like playing slap hands or whatever. Like they were like six year olds. They were hilarious. They were like best friends. Nice. No, that was kind of fun to watch. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Look forward to season two. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. And got to see that finale that you directed. Yeah. That's going to be exciting. Yeah. Tune cool. In. Well, thank you.